Hello everyone. Today in this video we are exploring the fascinating intersection of mathematics and art by creating a beautiful butterfly design in MATLAB. MATLAB is a powerful tool for mathematical computations and visualizations and we will be using its capabilities to craft an intricate and colorful butterfly pattern. So let's get started and see how we can bring this butterfly to life with a few lines of code. So first we begin by creating a row vector y containing integers from 1 to 40,000. This vector will serve as the input for our trigonometric functions below. Next we define several anonymous functions that will compute various trigonometric equations. Anonymous functions in MATLAB are defined using this at the rate operator and they allow us to create quick inline functions. These functions take an input x and compute sine or cosine values where the argument is scaled by different factors of pi and divided by 40,000. These two functions here generate the complex oscillatory patterns needed for the butterfly design. All these inline functions are used to compute intermediate values that are combined to create the final x and y coordinates as well as the color value c for the scatter plot. Now moving on to the next part of the code. This equation a generates x coordinates for the points in the scatter plot. The equation b here calculates y coordinates and this equation c is used to determine the color of each point on the plot. These equations a, b and c are carefully fully crafted to produce a butterfly like pattern when plotted. This sine and cos functions introduce periodic variations. The scaling factors like 141, 2, 32 and the exponents raised to 9, raised to 30 control the frequency and shape of these variations. By multiplying and adding these functions together, the code creates complex repeating patterns like this cos 144 raised to 9 produces a highly oscillatory pattern. And the combination of these three equations a, b and c results in a plot where the points are positioned and colored in such a way that they form a pattern resembling a butterfly. The scatter function is used to plot the points with a as x coordinates and b as y coordinates. This empty array means that the default marker sizes are used and this c is a vector that determines the color of each point based on its value. Now let's run the code and here you will see a beautiful butterfly design like this. You can also change this color of the butterfly by using this color map function. Just change the value of this input argument to any one of this list. Now I will select color cube and run the code and here you can see the color of this butterfly has been changed. You can also try any one of these color schemes. I will set it to autumn and run the code again. You can see the color is changing. So this is how you can create a colorful butterfly design in MATLAB. This axis function here sets the boundary limits to the graph. So thank you for watching the video. Do like the video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future, MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing!